Hi, welcome back to Dr. Donovan, Medicine Made Easy. In today's video, we're going to be discussing a topic which affects a lot of people, and that's earwax. Specifically, we're going to be going over why some people seem to be more at risk than others for developing excessive earwax, which can then go on and form a plug in the ear canal. Some of the reasons that we're going to discuss are things known as fixed risk factors, so things that you can't really change. However, other things are going to be modifiable risk factors. So those things that you can try adjust, so hopefully you'll learn something helpful to avoid buildup of excessive earwax. But before we get into this sticky subject, please remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already for weekly medical education videos. So the first risk factor is older age, specifically people who are aged 50 or more. And that's because as a person gets older, the glands that produce earwax shrink causing the earwax to become drier. Also, hair in the ear canal becomes thicker with age, leading to a higher rate of impaction or blockage. At the other end of the spectrum, so risk factor number two, is young age, specifically children who are younger than five, and they seem to be more affected by blocked earwax. And in fact, in a study published in the British Medical Journal, it was estimated that the rate of impacted earwax in children was up to 10%. Reason number three is male sex. So if you're a man, I'm sorry, but you're going to be at higher risk of earwax blocking your ear canals. That's because older men tend to have more hair in their ear canals. This then becomes incorporated into the earwax, making the wax harder and then more difficult to clear naturally from the ear canal. The fourth risk factor is having narrow or deformed ear canals. It's typically easier for earwax to occlude a narrow or deformed ear canal compared to an ear canal which is straight. And this kind of makes sense, right? Because earwax can fall more easily out of the straight canal than a bendy one. Certain other risk factors, such as soft tissue malformations and bony growths in the ear canal, such as osteomas, can also obstruct earwax migration. This can also be known as surfer's ear, and I've made a separate video on this if you want to check it out, and you can do that by again clicking on the link up here or checking out the other videos on my channel. The fifth risk factor is something called Down syndrome, and that's because up to 30 to 50% of newborns with Down syndrome have narrow ear canals, and this predisposes them to earwax impactions. In addition, some people think that the presence of cognitive impairment might limit the person's awareness of the impaction or their ability to complain of the symptoms caused by the impaction. The sixth reason are things like dermatological or skin conditions, and these include things like eczema or psoriasis. Ear eczema that becomes infected can encourage a buildup of wax, skin scales, and hair in the ear canal, which can then lead to blockage and cause temporary deafness. The seventh reason is the use of cotton buds or Q-tips. That's because the cotton buds can actually push the earwax deeper into the canal. So if you or someone you know uses cotton buds to clean their ears, please stop doing this. The eighth and ninth reasons are slightly overlapping, and these are repeated insertion of hearing aids and also earplugs. It's thought that these may result in the impaction of previously unimpacted earwax, but the evidence for this is weak. Finally, we get on to reason number 10. So if you've had repeated episodes of impacted earwax in the past, then you're more likely to get it in the future. There may be a genetic component to this, but the exact underlying cause of this is unknown. I hope the video was helpful and informative, and if you did find it useful, please remember to like it and leave me a comment in the comment section below if you've got any questions. I typically tend to reply to everybody. Thank you for watching, and until next time, bye. Thank you.